Hello everyone, it's Lauren again, and welcome to my Idolish 7, almost everything you need to know about Idolish 7 tutorial. Before I start, I will say I will not be explaining how to get this game onto your smartphone, your iPad, your whatever you use is. I will not be explaining how to get that. Um, there is Google for a reason, so Google it, please. Um, I will not be answering any questions about that. So, let's go ahead and get started. If I make any awkward, like, pauses or anything, it's because I'm a little sick at the moment and either I had to, like, cough up a lung or I had to blow my nose or get a drink or something. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and get started. You know, if it'll load ever. Perfect. Oh, alright, here we go. So my login bonus today is 500 friend points and um, there is a login bonus and what's special is that it either is gold, uh, stellar stones, friend points, or I don't know if it's on the 25th of every month, but every month you get a blue ticket on one of the days that you log in. Um, but that's only if you know log in for every single day, you don't, if you don't log in, you know, some days you won't get up to the 25th to get the blue ticket so it's best that you log in every single day for that so and after the blue ticket you'll see you get five days straight of stellar stones um oh sorry hang on of course like one minute into the video i get a phone call and get interrupted so anyway um, so tomorrow you'll see I get some gold and then stellar stones, more friend points, my uh, blue ticket. And then for every day after that, I get stellar stones. And I believe it's three stellar stones per login. So pretty good. You get a good amount of stellar stones, um, which help you build up. It's, um, and sometimes the scouting boxes are half off. It, I don't think there's a set rhyme or reason to when they get half off, but... Um, so it's really easy to gather 50 stellar stones if you just by logging in every single day. Um, and then my notices come up. There is an event going on. I will not be explaining it because I have not played it enough to, you know, know what's going on exactly. It's more like a token event in Love Live than anything else. But anyway, um, you'll see my home screen here. I have my rank right up here. I'm ranked 26. My display name, uh, my gold, my amount of stellar stones, and a really nice touch is there's a clock and your battery life in the corner. So, yeah, I just really like that. I don't know. I think that's, it's just so cute. I love it. I love that they thought of me and I don't have to, you know, close the game to see the time or pull down the screen to see how much battery time I have left, battery I have left. So, thank you, Idler7, for, you know, knowing my needs. Um... Under here we have my uh, amount of experience and the amount of life or LP that I have left. Um, my main boy is Sogo, so I set him as my main. Um, over here we have our scrolling notices. I will not be going into these buttons. Um, that's like a separate video entirely, just dedicated to special training cards. And I have not figured out anything like that yet. So, uh, down on the bottom you see we have all of these fancy buttons. Our home screen, um, our our home screen is right here. We're on it right now. Our songs button, our story button, our basically our album button, um, so you can manage your cards. Our scouting button, and then just various other stuff over here. Um, so everything with a pink exclamation point above it means there's something new that needs to be addressed in that. Um, I guess page so in my home screen my mail is flashing at me and the mail here is your inbox so let's go ahead and click that and you'll see that I have one unopened present I guess and a couple 13 unopened presents what's important here um, you can open them individually but if you have more than one you can press this blue button do not, under any circumstances, push this pink button if you have unopened gifts. If you press the pink button and press OK, it will delete all of your gifts, unopened and opened, and you won't be able to get them. So that kind of sucks. Um, so, But if you press this blue button right here, 
it will collect all your gifts. So I got my 500 friend points, and you'll see that it kind of goes blank, and I can't press it anymore. This Then I can press this pink button to get rid of all my mail. And then it's gone. So that's pretty great. But do not press it unless you want to get rid of your gifts, which I don't suggest doing because why would you get rid of friend points and gold? Um, so let's go ahead. Pretty much I'm going to take, take you to um, Then I would go to my scouting button. Um, and you can do one daily scout in your friend point scouting. So let's go ahead and do one friend point scout. And in this game, if it downloads, it means you get something new in your album. It didn't download, so I already have this card. Um, and it's going to be a normal. And it is Maki. Perfect. All right. Let's go back to the top. All right. And you see here that you have your scouting boxes. Um, this is your event scouting, I guess, um, that you can scout with tickets that you earn from the event and friend point scouting sort of the same as love live um this box happens to be half off so it only costs 50 stellar stones to scout 10 times and five stellar stones to scout once and over here this is where you use your blue ticket no not there um, blue button right there next to the stellar stone button is where you use your blue tickets and i only have one today um Normally, this is where I would go ahead and play my songs. I'm just going to show you what that looks like. Um, you start out with, I believe, one song on easy. And to play the songs, um, you select the button, hit next, and it will take you. Let's just go ahead and do an easy song. So I'm going to select my easy button. Up here, you see that this is the amount of stars or the difficulty. So it, one star, super easy song. Um, over here you'll see the percentage of, I guess, what each card gives you. So if it's, just for example, let's go down to Fly Away. You'll see Fly Away is 50% green and then 25% the other one. So you want to stack your team with mostly green cards. But it is okay to have blue and red cards as well because they will still give you points because it's 25% worth of the song. Um... Whereas this one is only 30% blue, 30% uh, green, and 40% red. So all of them are a little bit different. Most of the beginning songs are about the same. So 33, 33, um, And so here's where you see the song. The challenge, you'll see I've completed five of the 12 requirements for the live challenge. If you hit the live challenge button, you'll see I have not, I've only played this like, you know, once or something yeah just one play um i've completed five so i've got a full combo i've completed it once and i haven't gotten any um bas or ss rankings for it um once you complete all of them so if i get an ss ranking oops i didn't want to do that an ss ranking i cleared all the combo requirements and i get up to 15 plays up here is where you see an all clear on the top right hand corner of every single live challenge. You'll see if you clear all of these goals, you will get this. And this challenge, if you clear all of them, you get five stellar stones, which is pretty good. Other ones happen to be blue, uh, blue tickets, I think. So if you clear, go to the expert song and you hit the live challenge. Yep, if you clear everything, like 80 plays, um... 310 combo and an SS blue ticket in this game I believe for all the songs um you don't have to get a full combo to get you know a, it's not a full combo requirement it's a 310 combo requirement which isn't the full combo so if you get a 310 and then miss right after that great it's not a full combo requirement and you still get that uh goal um so you see here um, the ranking that I have on it. Hello, please go away. <laughs> and then let's just go ahead and play um, a normal song. So you would hit next. It'll load. Da, da, da. And then you'll uh, it'll pull up a list of friends that you can uh, have help you. And then the, those are the 10 point ones. The five point ones are the ones that you could send a friend request to afterwards. 
Um, I'm not actually going to play a song today because my phone gets a little laggy and I like to be able to hear the music and I have my phone set pretty low to record this video. So we're not going to do that. I will say, however, um, if you look up the songs on YouTube, you can see the types of notes that they have. Um, the types of notes are just clear notes or marbles, I guess they should be called. They look like marbles coming down the chute and you can, I'll put a link in the description for an example of what a song would look like. Um, the clear notes are just random. You don't have to do anything special with them. The green notes you have to hold, sort of like the hold notes in Love Live. If they're connected by a string in the middle, that means you have to press them at the same time. If you slide your finger to where the line is, and you'll see that in the video I post down below. And the red notes with the arrows in the middle means that you have to hit it and then kind of like flick away. You have to swipe as you're hitting it. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory in the tutorial that the got that the uh, gives you at the very beginning. Um, so I'm pretty sure you guys will have no problem with that. Um, in order to, uh, as soon as you rank up or as soon as you complete a song requirement, um, you will receive a new part of the story. So let's, I've had this for a while for this video. So let's go ahead because I have the pink exclamation point over my story. I unlocked it. If I can scroll up here, here are all the parts of the stories I have unlocked. So let's go ahead and hit new. And if it will pull up here, great. So I have the third part of my story ready. So let's go ahead and click it and then hit the voice or the audio button is what I like to call it for it to get started. Yep, and it has to download a little bit. Downloading in this game is very good in my opinion because it's just means you have something new so for scouting if it doesn't download you know you got a pretty crappy scout because they're all duplicates or you'll see later you get a duplicate card so you can idolize the SR into an SSR but let's go ahead with the story first for me since I don't understand Japanese um and I kind of you know want to do this quickly so I can get through it you hit menu up here and you'll see a list of options. You can auto play and skip everything. Um, you can go full screen, mine's already full screen. A log, just a text um, showing um, what they say. Options button and then I usually click end and then I hit okay. And then it will bring up the ending screen. And you, come on, all right. So you get a little bit of experience um, and a little bit of gold with every time you complete part of the story. Um, what's kind of annoying is, oh, and then after I completed that, you see I got a new song. Um, so that'll show the pink exclamation point above the song button. A little annoying thing about this game is that you have to complete the story pretty much one chapter at a time. So for Love Live, you complete the chapter in parts, like four parts or three parts at a time. This game, it just you know you go oh hi Sogo I love you all right let's go um let's end it again all right got a little bit more experience a little bit more gold and a new part of the spot um so let's go ahead and look at chapter 13 yep so one part of it's new I feel like you guys have got a good handle on that and you'll see that my home button has a pink exclamation point I'm gonna leave the story there for right now and let's go to our home button and see what we got I think this is just a what you get for clearing the story so let's go ahead and press the pink button to open ev Oop, no that is deleting everything I almost made a terrible mistake the blue button opens everything so if you open it, oh, I got one blue ticket. Perfect, so now I have two. Almost on my way there. The pink button deletes everything. All right, let's go ahead and look at our song that we have. And it has to download a little bit because it's new. So at the very bottom, if I hit easy, make sure you do that. If you don't see the song where it should be, you're probably on expert. If I'm on expert, the new song goes away because I haven't cleared up to the the expert stage yet so hit easy and there's my new song um you'll see it's 50 percent red and then 25 percent blue and green um and you have to unlock 
You have to pass easy to get normal. Have to pass normal to get hard. You have to S rank hard. Um, or S, I guess, yeah, score uh, hard in order to unlock expert. So just a heads up on that. If you can't unlock expert, it's probably because you don't have a high enough score on the hard song. Um, so there's that. Let's go ahead and look at our cards. And I'll show you a little bit of what I do to build my team. And I'll explain what each button means. So right now it's showing my main team, which is my beat team. And my center for that is Sogo. So my center is the one who appears on my main screen. If I hit my yellow button on the left, this is where you build. So you see I have three teams. This one's my shout team. This one's my beat team. And this one's my melody team. And you have key slots. I don't know what you would want them for. Specific skills or whatnot. Um, that's where you would put them. So let's go ahead and fiddle with my melody team for a little bit. So if you wanted to just change out one uh, card, you can hit the card that you want to select or swap out. And then you would choose the card that you want to put in. So in this rare for whatever reason. Let's put him in there. And then that would be it. But I don't want to do that, so let's go ahead and put him back. I don't remember which one I took out. I think it was you. Um, yeah, perfect. So, uh, in order to change the name, name, hit this button right here. Nope, that's not what I want to do. This button right here. But I don't want to change my team. All you have to do is click it and input your name and hit OK. And then it will be fine. If you wanted to set a team as your main, you hit this button right here. So if I wanted to put Nagi as my main, I'd hit that button and he would be my main. But let's keep Sogo as my main. If you wanted to arrange a team by a specific um, attribute, shout, beat, or melody, um, you would hit this button right here, the middle flag button, and it would automatically do it for you. So if we wanted to fiddle around with our melody team, let's go ahead and do that. Put up a little bit because my SSRs have a higher melody rank or higher melody score than my other SS or other SRs. And you'll see that my SSR um, beat my SSR because he's a little bit higher level. So just a heads up on that, you may not want to use that um, function um, if you have you know, if that happens, you may want to normally do it. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. Also, this pink button right here, it clears your whole um, team. So if you wanted to just start from scratch, let's say I wanted to make a beat team. And then I think, oh crap, I really don't like the way they did it. I want to start from scratch. You can hit the pink button, hit OK and it will clear your team, which is pretty nice. Um, so I guess I'll have to fix my melody team later. Oh well. Um, so that's basically all you need to know for that um, button. The next button, the blue button, is the practice button. So let's say I want to practice my, who do I want to practice? I recently idolized this um, SR. Uh, so let's say I want to practice him. Let's go ahead and hit the plus button and you'll see that some options are some cards are locked I'm going to do that in a second, but let's say I have a ton of this card or these cards So you hit those you hit the cards that you want to practice if you hit the pink button It will deselect every card that you chose, but I want to reselect them hit the blue button and they will pop up. Then you hit the pink button down here and it will say OK. It goes ahead and practices them. Look at all those levels. Let's jump in. All right. So my Yamato is level eight. Any um, beat, shout, melody points that it gained um, and whatnot. Then it goes back and you can keep doing that as you would like. It goes up to 10 practice slots, so you can do 10 cards at a time. Um, yeah, that's basically all you need to know. If you 
would like to look at your cards, you can go here and then hit this one, I believe. Yep. Um, let's say I want to lock a card or unlock a card. So let's look at this Yamato. There's a little heart lock in the corner, right corner, right here. And you'll see that it's unlocked with an off sign. If I hit it, it'll say loading and then it says on. And now I can't practice that card away accidentally. Um, yeah, so that's basically how you do that. All right, what other button is next? Right, the red button. The red button is your idolization button. So you'll see some cards pop up and some cards are locked out. The SSRs are all blocked out because they can't be idolized into a super, super, super star rare, whatever. Um, that's as high as they go. However, the SRs can be idolized into excuse me, SSRs. Um, the, the normal cards can only go up to SR. And in this game, it's super easy to get rares and super rares and superstar rares. I would suggest, highly suggest against building up your normals because basically they're really only used for gold and for experience. Um, unless you really like a normal the way it looks, I personally don't really use them in my team at all. So, um, yeah, I kind of forgot where I was going that. Oh yeah, idolization. Sorry, it's all over the place today. So if you pick a card, let's say I want to idolize this Sogo, you would pick the card and you'll the card that you could idolize it with will pop up automatically right here. I don't have a Sogo to idolize him with, so I can't do that. However, let's pull up one of my normals just for an example. Let's do him and you'll see that four of his cards pop up. You can only pick one of them. And if you've already idolized him before, he'll look like that. If you haven't idolized before it there will be a uh, sort of darker shade over top where you can see what he will look like idolized underneath it and you'll see that if you play the game um, but I'm not going to idolize him because it's just a waste of gold at this point um, so let's go back this button right here I'm really not going to go into because it's the special practicing or special training button and again I don't really understand it at all. That is a separate video. If you guys want to leave a comment, here's an explanation. Go for it. Um, I'm probably going to make an update to this video just explaining special training and the daily tasks for special training. Um, the last button, however, is pretty important. This is your selling your members option. So here you can see a list of your members. Um, if you press the blue button, this will turn, pretty much turn it into, okay, which members do you want to sell for gold? And basically, if you don't have enough gold, this is what you do. You press the blue button. Let's say I want to get rid of all of these normals for gold. If I think, oh, I really don't want to do that, let's hit the pink button. It will deselect everything. Um, but I do want to get rid of them, so let's go ahead and get rid of them. It'll see 10 of them for a thousand gold. Yep, sounds good. Let's get rid of them. And there they go. They're all gone now. Um, once you sell them for gold, pretty obvious, you're not gonna be able to get them back. So make sure that you are don't accidentally select a rare or a super rare or a super, super rare, superstar rare to sell for gold because that would be pretty upsetting. Um, otherwise, Anything else that's important off the top of my head? Um, that's basically everything you need to know. This button over here tells you um, if you want a number list, this is where you do that. You would hit that button and it would go from you 50 slots to 53 slots, but it would also cost you three seller stones, and we're not going to do that. Um, the top button shows you um, how many Stellar Stones you have purchased versus what you have um, bought. And then the menu button over here, basically you can fiddle around with it yourself. The most important one I would say is this button right here, and I'm not going to press it, and I will tell you in a second. That is your transfer code to a new device. And it's 
it's online, so I'm not going to show you what it looks like. But if you hit that button, um, it will basically give you a code for your game data that if you happen to lose your phone, break your phone, you have to uninstall or re-download or accidentally delete this app, that code will allow you to get your data back. So make sure you keep that in a safe place. Um, this one down here is where you import um, or input either serial codes or a code for gifts, and that is where you would look. That is where you would import it. Um, other than that, that's really everything. Um, I guess the last thing I'll show you is what your friends list will look like on the home page. The first thing that will pop up is a list of all of your friends right here so those are all of my friends if you hit this this button right here it will load requests that you have sent other people so I have sent six out of 100 and they have not responded uh, this pink button down here allows you to see the friend requests that you have so I have one friend request pending uh, for me, the X button will decline and the oval or the circle will accept the friend request. And this down here will, um, the green button, well, the pink one, is where you import um, or input the game ID of someone that you want to search for and friend. Um, so you would go ahead and do that right there. Other than that, I don't think I missed anything major. Um, I think I did a pretty good job of basically explaining what you need to do. Um, I guess to end it, I will show you what, um, an easy song. Nope, I don't want to do that. The new easy song that I have to play. Um, can't read it because it's in Japanese. Whatever. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So you can kind of see what you should expect back when I started I had no idea what it was like and it definitely was not what I expected so I'm gonna choose hey we have the same SSR sweet let's go ahead and start it sorry if you can't hear the music oh and because the event is going on you can sort of choose whatever you want and I'm not gonna do that so um You'll see in the song that there are some notes that have a certain color light stick inside of it, I guess it is. Um, that is for the event, and it is sort of like a token event in Love Live, where you're, for every song you play, you collect the light sticks for however many notes you hit or miss. Um, and then you can go into the event page, um, which I guess I should show you after I finish this song, but you can see down on the bottom my score and what ranking I am right now. I can't really hear the music, so this is gonna be really interesting. Um, a good thing to note about this is you can't fail a song, I'm pretty sure. So if you absolutely suck at expert songs, no need to fear, you will still, you know, get through it. There's no stamina in this game. Um, and, you know, it's, it's great because I really sucked at a, a song, an expert song in the event, and I didn't fail, which was pretty great. So that one is where that red one that just came across the screen is where you slide your finger pretty much any way, which is what the arrows mean. Slide it any way across the screen when you hit it, and that will count as a, you know, you got the note. Um... In this game, there are perfect goods, um, bads, and misses, I'm pretty sure. Goods do not break your combo. Thank the goods are pretty forgiving. So if you hit it early, it's probably still going to be a good. I know some people have a really hard time um, when the marbles are coming. Oh, and I guess another doing well in a song oh their music video plays in the background so you get to see that um sometimes it's really distracting and other times i really like it especially when it's an easy song i can just kind of 
relax and watch the music video in the background. So that's really fun. Um, I'm actually doing really well. It does lag a little bit on my phone just because I think the event's going on and it's just too much for it. Um, so, yeah. When... Oh, yay! I got a full combo! And an S rank. Sweet! Um, that will appear. And, yeah. You'll see that some of the skills were activating as the song was going. I'm not going to go into the skills because I don't know them. And, yeah. So, basically, you'll see what I see at the end of a song. Um, I got 20 fans, 500 gold, 10 friend points, and 1 normal as a um, event, or not event reward, just a song reward for completing it. Got a high score. Um, I got perfects and goods, no bads or misses, so I did full combo it. And then the next screen will show me um, all of the rewards that I got. Sweet. So now I just have to play, you know, 14 more times to get an all clear and five stellar stones, which, you know, we'll see. Um, here you'll see, I guess, the bond points um, for your cards. There really is no reward for my cards, I don't think, so it's pretty, you know, pointless, but whatever. Um, and you'll see, just for the event, I got 16. A green and 15 blue you know light sticks whatever they are that's what I think they are they kind of look like lightsabers from Star Wars but you know whatever um so yeah that's it since I cleared the easy song the normal song now opened up and that's you'll see down on the left hand corner that it says event top if you hit that that will take you to the event page um hopefully it'll load fairly quickly but yeah, this is the event page and this is what it looks like. I haven't been playing a lot because I've been busy, you know, trying to tier for Rin and trying to tier for Maki. And I'm probably not going to tier for Maki. I'm so sorry. But anyway, um, yeah, that's what the event page will look like. So if you want to go back, just go ahead and hit the music button again to get um, You'll see that all of your rewards from live show went to your mail so don't forget to collect those uh, make sure to hit the blue button and that will open everything and I got all of my rewards then you can go ahead and hit the pink hit OK and then they'll be deleted so yeah I hope I didn't forget anything major um, again special training daily tasks and events are basically a whole nother video um, but yeah that's basically it. Um, I guess your question of the day is, um, are you interested in Idolish 7 if you're watching this for the first time? Was this tutorial helpful? And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun making it. This was a long time coming. So Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, scouting video, tutorial, whatever I do next. All right, bye guys!